This is Dale at Backyard Bees. Today is Tuesday, March 3rd, and it's about right at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm out here at the Backyard Bees Bee Yard with Mr. Bob, and we just uh, took a couple of queen cells out of one of those hives over there and moved it into one that I just split yesterday because one, one of those hives had four queen cells in it. And I didn't think about it until I got home last night that I should have moved that out. So we did. So now I'm going to set up a swarm trap out here over there by those blocks. And I'm going to use a nuke size box. I've got a bottom board here. Uh, got, I'm going to put three frames in there. And I'm going to uh, paint them with some swarm commander. And then I've got a top board right there. I'll set it up over there. So. Anyways, I'm gonna hand this camera off to Bob. If you would watch what I'm doing here. I'm gonna take the swarm commander. I'll take the swarm commander. Oops, I don't wanna waste that. Just put a little bit, a couple drops on my toothbrush. Paint each side of the frame. Some people say that you should set the uh, swarm traps up, you know, seven, eight, nine feet up in the air, up in the tree or something like that, but my way of thinking is bees, I'll trap bees out of floors in storage sheds and I'll trap bees out of uh, walls, concrete block walls, and I've caught bees out of water meter boxes. I don't think it matters to the bees really what depth they are or height they are. This one trap is, they just want a place to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up over here. Uh, I've spaced these so that there's some volume in there. When the bees come in, they'll see a lot of space. And uh, that should help attract them. Of course, the swamp members gonna help them too. I'm just gonna put a little bit more Back our bees. <laughs> and Bob. 